by POE site this semester was the courtyard space inside of Holmes Hall. The new Holmes Hall, which is the L-shaped building in this picture, is only four years old, and it sits directly across from Alumni Gym in the Gatton Student Center, and it is on the corner of Limestone and Avenue Champions. These are two busy roads, and the sound that they generate was a major concern when creating the courtyard space. This is a view of an entrance to the courtyard through a breezeway under Holmes Hall. The courtyard is guarded from the road on three sides to prevent sound from the road coming in. As a result of this decision, the space is not seen and known to many people, and mostly only used by people who live in Holmes Hall and a smaller amount who live in Boyd, positioned directly behind Holmes. This is the courtyard seen in its near entirety from the front door of Holmes Hall. Down in the right corner, there is a small sitting area with tables and chairs in it. This is a very popular spot in the site, and it's used for people to eat, meet with friends, or do schoolwork. The large grassy areas with trees planted uniformly take up the majority of the space. They have Adirondack chairs scattered around it, but they get the least use of any place in the site. Bisecting the site and traveling about it are pathways that lead from the main doors of homes and Boyd Hall to the main road. This gets the most use of any place in the site as people are constantly traveling to and from their buildings along these paths. Here you see the site getting its most regular use. People are walking along the paths inside the courtyard. The main doors of Holmes Hall and Boyd Hall, seen directly ahead, are positioned within the site, so people are always coming and going from their buildings and passing through the site. Because of this, the site has mostly become a circulation corridor, and the rest of the features are mostly just eye candy. I imagine the purpose of the grassy areas seen here was twofold. One, to provide a beautiful view from inside the dorms, and secondly, to provide an enjoyable, shady place for students to sit, relax, work, or gather outside of their rooms. However, I feel like the latter of these hasn't really been accomplished, as not many people actually do come outside and enjoy the grassy areas. Here's a bubble diagram of the current arrangement of the features on the site. The off-blue color is a seating area, while the orange is bike racks, and the lighter green is a tree canopy, and the darker color green is thicker plantings. This is a bubble diagram I've drawn up for the changes I'm proposing to make to the site. Right now, pay attention to what I've drawn up for the grass areas that are aligned with the trees. I'm proposing for the creation of activity, communal, and seating areas in the grass. Currently, outside of some Adirondack chairs, there aren't any attracting features in this area that bring people to it. These proposals are adding a feature that might bring people to the site and also bring them together. Also pay attention to where I move the bike racks from the inside corner to outside the building. Focusing on the bike racks for a second, notice on the left of this photo is the location of the current bike rack, sitting right up against the building and directly outside of a few dorm rooms. The bike racks take away from the views that the architect intended for people living right next to them. So I propose moving the bike racks over to the right side of this photo alongside the staircase which is in glass so that the rack is still on a main pathway but away from the dorm room windows. These are two photos I took from the design concept with the idea I proposed for communal areas and some of the grassy sections. I'm trying to create a place of gathering in the center of connectivity as seen with this photo on the right. I think a great way to do this is evenings around a bonfire. So I'm trying to modify that idea a bit and draw s some inspiration from the photograph on the left. I want to have a gas-powered fire pit and some more Adirondack chairs that can be placed in a circle around it. This would create a center of connection and draw people out of their dorms at night. Also with the photograph on the right, I want my site to have the same festive feel with the carnival lights. I thought this was an excellent project to draw inspiration from for my site. This is Pulaski Park in Northampton, Massachusetts, and here Stimson created a space that is very communal but also intimate at the same time. The dim lighting above keeps the focus on only what is lit, 
and the movable chairs can be placed in circles so that everyone in a group is able to be engaged in discussion. Here's a photograph of the walkway that leads back to Boyd Hall. First, notice how it's a line of symmetry as the path leads directly to the main doors of Boyd and above are the glass doors of the study rooms inside the building. Almost everyone who lives in Boyd uses this walkway and it is the busiest path in the entire site. And it's double wide and is separated by this line of sod, which is not the most attractive thing to look at, as it is long with no beautiful features. It needs a bit of sprucing up. So these are two photos taken from the design concept I did with regard to this walkway. So it's already a very busy circulation path, as seen with the picture on the left. But I would like to increase the beauty of the walk, which might increase its use. But since it's a very important line of access, I would like to separate its pavement from the rest of the site and give it more of an intricate design. It doesn't have to look exactly like this photo, but the idea is the same. Like this photo, I also want to rip the sod up and landscape the middle with beautiful perennial flowers, preferably ones with less maintenance and more of a variety of flowers. Not only to make the walk beautiful, but also to make it interactive. And there could be labels for the different flowers as there is with many trees around campus. Also from the design concept, this is the main street in Greensburg, Missouri, which had a very wide sidewalk and the people at BNIM added these planters with some native plantings to break up which was once a barren walkway and it's now become a popular exercise and circulation path. I feel this does a good job demonstrating what I'm trying to accomplish with adding these perennial flowers. Lastly, I would like to add similar flower plantings to the perimeter of the site along the sides of the building. And these plantings would add to the visual beauty of the site, not only from the ground, but also from above. And some of the other grassy pads, I want to add some interactive activities that could draw people during the daytime to the site for some recreation. You could have something like cornhole boards or horseshoes or bocce ball, but it would give something to do outside. It might even be a place where people can meet from the dorm. Also, I want to have a couple seating areas in the grass that offer more sturdy seating, something like a picnic table. It would be a place for people to do productive work like schoolwork or eating while also enjoying the shady grass area. All the changes I'm proposing for this site are focused on two key principles. Make it a beautiful site for all and make it a more enjoyable place to sit and enjoy. Thank you for your time and attention.